Hi there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burke's Photography and Product Shop, and today I'm going to show you how to add your logo or your watermark file to your libraries panel in Photoshop. And this is going to make it super quick and easy to just grab your watermark and place it right onto your photo when you're finished editing. Um, so previously I had a tutorial that shows you how to turn your watermark into a Photoshop brush, um, but with Photoshop brushes, they are super easy to just stamp right on your photo, but they're only able to be added onto your photo in just one solid color. Um, so for anyone who has color in their logo, this option is going to be better for you. Um, so basically what you want to do first is go to file open and pull up your logo file. Now here, this one is my transparent PNG file. I want it to be transparent so that when I apply this to my photo, only the text shows. Um, so once you've got it open in Photoshop, what you're going to do is go to Window, Libraries. Oh, there it is. Okay. And then this will pull up your Libraries panel. Now here is where you can save all of your favorite fonts and things like that so that there's, they're quick and easy to use um, while you're working in here. So what we're going to do is with your logo file open and your Libraries panel open, you're going to click the little plus sign at the bottom of the panel to add content. And then you're going to choose Graphic. Now, as you can see, it added my logo to my library. And you can double click right here to rename what you want to call it. Um, I'm just going to choose logo and then hit enter. And so now when you, I'm going to close this panel right now, when you are editing your photo and you're ready to apply your watermark when you're all finished, all you have to do is go to window libraries again, or you can click your libraries window over here and then just drag and drop this logo right onto your photo. Um, so here you'll notice that the bounding box pulls up to allow you to resize it. You can just click to drag and make it larger or smaller as you like. And then you can click your mouse to move the logo around your photo wherever you want it to show up. And then when you're finished, just hit the check mark or the enter button on your keyboard and it will accept the changes. And then from there, you're ready to save your work. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can shoot me an email at morgan at morganburks.com and you can find more Photoshop tutorials at morganburks.com. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.